Hi, my name is Christopher Lozada, and this is CIS Course 110, Group Number 1. Um, today we are actually going to do a introduction of what type of computer actually I use at home for my video editing and gaming streaming. So, um, this is actually for a video also for anyone that knows me on YouTube that I currently use my products. Or, um, say, for an example, streaming, making videos. If you ever want to know what kind of video editing software I use and to record, just leave a comment and I would message you what I use. But overall, this is an inventory check. This is my computer, actually, that I use in my room. Currently, there are two, my laptop and my uh, streaming PC. I have another PC downstairs where I use for my family where we multi-monitor downstairs. So, um, also I got my Blue Yeti microphone, it's a pretty hefty case, it's an NVIDIA um, tower cooler. This is my monitor that I use, it's an LCD ASUS 23.5 inch monitor with 1080p uh, graphics with a DMI port, D-sub port, and HDMI port. And let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, this is my Black Widow keyboard that I would use. It has five pro programmable keys um, that you can use as a macro and um, two awesome bypasses for USB. This is my mouse, my Naga Razer mouse. It has 16 programmable uh, uh, buttons on it, 8200 DPI too. And this is the case. And first, we're going to try to open up my PC, but first we got to power down everything in the computer so then we know we're 100% good. Um, on my power supply, actually, I have a power switch that I use to shut down my PC. But we also have to actually um, pull the cord from the cables from uh, the power for the computer and open this thing wide open and see what, we get, what we're actually working here. So let's see, this is a medium sized board over inside a full size power tower. Uh, the uh, motherboard I'm using is ASUS F2A85 Pro FM2 AMD A85X where it has multiple ports that I use. Uh, that's a Netgear actually that I use for connecting to the Wi-Fi in my house. Sometimes I use a cat cord. Um, this is my current microphone that I'm using right now in my room that you saw in the first image. It's a really nice Blue Yeti. This port cord is actually a cord that I use for my Xbox 360 controller which I have right here. It's something that I would use other than using a clackety keyboard to keep quiet when I make my videos. These are the tethered cord that connects from my keyboard actually for my uh, USB ports. This is the Razer Black Widow 2013 and that's the mouse right there again like i would want to show you and i'll show you right here there are the usb port that connects to another usb port inside the computer for an extension take that out and that's connected to my mouse right there and just move that out of the way and the next one i have two more ports that this keyboard uses where it has a microphone input and a microphone output Right now what I'm currently using for that keyboard is a microphone output which is green which I will show you in a second in this port where it has seven channels and there you go there's a 2.0 port. Next is my DVI port where I should be more careful actually and unscrew the PC wide open. Well not the PC the DVI port, uh, cable there you go pops in and that shows my graphics card. I don't actually connect my graphics card directly into the PCI port because the PCI port goes through my um, BIOS. Right here we have is the AMD A1058K Trinity Quad Core which runs on a 3.8 gigahertz on turbo on 4.2. Uh, right here we have my Tridex um, Hyper Raid um, RAMs, 4 gigs per RAM, 20, uh, two, uh, 240 pins uh, DDR3 this is my uh, EVGA 750Ti which has three multi ports that I can use onto this it clocks on a resolution of 4098 to 2130K so it's ready for 4K settings this is the back of the port that I use for it 
and this is the power supply that I use which is a uh, 730 power watt power supply which is blue. Uh, the input voltage is 100 to 240 straight onto the motherboard so that's something that you should probably consider when you actually connecting to your PC. Next we take off the face of the PC which we have is a hard drive uh, read and write DVD burner. Currently it's just a DVD burner and a Blu-ray. This is my hard drive that I use. I use a 1 terabyte and a 2 terabyte which is 72 RPMs and this is the current headset that I use for all my videos. The controller again and this is the Blue Yeti microphone with all the specs. 16 bit um, runs on a 20 get hurt and this is the operating system that I work with. Next thing that we're actually going to be talking about is the cons about this computer. One, it's an AMD and it tends to overheat sometimes. Uh, two, I really wish that it has a Blu-ray DVD drive. That's about a $60 upgrade. Three, the case is pretty heavy. It's like 15 pounds and uh, sometimes a bottleneck because the graphics card's too much for it. It needs more fans. Um, one thing I don't like is that I'm very color OCD, so I don't like how the LED in my fan is actually blue. Um, one more thing I really wish that this has is probably like more outputs. Now, the stuff that I love about this PC is that it's great for recording. It holds its own when it comes to um, high-end gaming or medium-end gaming. Um, personally. I love the fact that I can actually upgrade this thing myself actually and add more you know hard drives or more RAMs later on. Um, another thing that's really great is that I have an additional four ports on top of my PC so say if I were to run out of USB ports to plug and chug I just open it up connect the pins to my motherboard that leads to these others um, USB ports and you know boom it's good. One thing I love is the fact that it has a really good high performance. It can run without any programs running currently on full ultra HD 16 alias with direct 11 um, graphics processing. Um, and the great thing is that this graphics, are, uh, this graphics card is actually a GTX 750 Ti, which is pretty much almost past today's standards. Today's standards is around like the 700 series, which is great. But um, one major thing I love about this computer, that it is green, because I have a OCD fetish for black and green. So we are going to go over some things. Um, yes, I think this is a very great computer. Um, it depends what you want to do. Personally, this is too high end for a um, personal computer that you would use for a Word document. I mean, you could use it if you tend to, you know, organize your files for computer docs or work docs. Um, let's see what else. Uh, things about this. Well, <laughs> first of all, obviously, I'm recording this video from the gameplay in game full ultra graphics all the way through and it's running at least 30 frames per second to 20 sometimes occasional 15 fps drops but it's not too noticeable whatsoever if you see in the videos and you know movies you know standard dvd movies night blu-ray i'm kind of disappointed about that but you know it's good now um one thing i would actually mention about this is that um with this computer it actually tends to the need of you know comfortability i usually go with razor products and astro because one razor they meant for people that want to game or you know have long periods of hours of typing or have a mouse that has different macros to do different you know work processes now um for eyes in general, you can wear these special type of sunglasses actually meant for gaming, which protects the cornea of your eyes. I'll leave that in the description below and you know, you guys tell me what you think and if it's a product that you guys would love to buy. Um, things I would recommend adding or changing. Blu-ray DVD, definitely, all the way through. Um, probably a new motherboard so then I can upgrade my processor into an Intel. Because currently, when I bought my um, 
my new laptop that I am using for my editing and productions, um, it's just been treating my PCs really, really well. And currently it is a Intel, I would say 48, no, 4910 with hyper threading. So it's pretty above high standards for today for even a laptop would have. But um, considering those factors, it's, I would still probably pick this over my laptop because honestly it has more power and I can upgrade it to even have, you know, to even pass my own laptop's limitations. But um, in all honesty though, I kind of wish that I kind of fully upgraded this PC all the way through, but the only downside was that the ability to carry this thing around where I went, that is one major thing that everyone would actually recommend to get a laptop for. Now in an all preferences way actually is that most of the time if you're going to do any kind of video editing software or you know you want to stream most of the time you usually have your computer at home or you're dealing with your assignments that you deal at home. So those are one of the major things that I would probably recommend for um, probably having a computer tower first before you get a laptop because most of the time you know the only time you really need a laptop is when you're doing word documents and bringing it to college hence why the reason why I bought my laptop for school so um let's see what else is some other things I would love to mention uh, a major factor is for uh, video recording is that you should always have two separate hard drives when you're recording uh, working on the same time and here's the reason why if you're having one computer working on while you're recording in game it causes too much stress on the hard drive that you're using so that's why with my computer I have two hard drives now one thing I would probably recommend also later on is probably put a solid state drive and have two more hard drives and there's just a limited amount of things that you can do with so much space, especially today standards with like a terabyte drive that's like, I don't know, give or take, after using the program, 930, 956 gigs left over to just throw around on your shoulder. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. Uh, my name is Chris Lozada and this is CAS110. I'm the group leader. Also, um, my YouTube channel name is OK Games. So, if there's anything you guys would like to actually hear, talk about, or any questions about doing video editing or anything later on and know more about me, just uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll gladly open up and talk to you guys. Alright. Fuck! Fuck! Fuck 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 Oh fuck! Oh tits! 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 Oh my god! Oh tits!